Good afternoon, boys and girls. It is week 11, and it is probably 1 o'clock if you guys are watching this, so that means it is gym time. School bell sounds. Hopefully you're not late to class. Gym time. So this is week 11. Today we're going to do a couple different things. Um, we're going to start with locomotor skills. Now, I'll tell you what that is, because you're probably wondering, like, mister, what is that? What is locomotor skills? In case you don't know, I'll teach you that, and then we'll go through them. And then we're going to do a new sport today. So we've been doing basketball for, like, about three weeks. So we're going to switch to a new sport today with a couple new skills. So this is week 11, gym time, and here we go. All right, so the first one is a locomotor skill, or locomotor just stands for, like, locomotion. There are different ways that we can move. Different ways that we can move from one point to another. Different ways that we can get to some place. Different ways that we can move our body. So the first one obviously is running. Now everybody or most people know how to run. But the one thing that they don't do that you guys need to work on is they don't pump their arms. You can go a lot faster and you can build more momentum and you'll use better running form if you pump your arms. So while you're doing these exercises and you're doing these locomotor skills, work on these key things, okay? So in running is one locomotor skill, you need to pump your arms. The second one is skipping. Now, skipping can be complex for some people. Some people still don't know how to do it or they're learning how to do it. That's okay. A skip is a step hop, step hop. We'll go through it and we'll show you how to do it. And there will also be a video that goes through all of these locomotor skills to teach you how to do it as well. Um, the next thing is the shuffle or the slide. Now, you use the shuffle and the slide in many, many different sports. A lot of sports you're playing defense like basketball or football. You're going to have to shuffle from one side to the other or to get to one place to the other to play defense. So the shuffle or the slide is used in many, many, many different sports. The next thing is the gallop. Galloping is kind of like a horsey. What you're going to do is you're going to put heel toe, heel toe, and you're going to move your feet together, right? I forgot to mention that the shuffle and the slide is a sideways movement, so you'll be moving sideways instead of forwards. Uh, moving on from there is the hop. Now, if I use two feet and I move and I, and I jump off the ground, is that hopping? No. Two feet would be, con would be considered like jumping, right? If you're using only one foot, then it would be hopping. So make sure you're using just one foot when you do the hopping. And the last one is walking backwards. You might be saying, Mr. L, why do we need to walk backwards? Well, did you know that after you complete these uh, locomotor skills, you're, all, you're only using the right side of your brain. But when you walk backwards, guess what? You slow your heart rate down and you're using the left side, the opposite side of your brain. So once you do all these locomotor skills, You'll have used both sides of your brain, and you'll have exercised your heart. So it's a really good thing to do. All right, so we're going to talk about some of the different locomotor skills, the different movements, okay? I'm going to show you some of them. Let me just move this out of the way first. Okay, so we got our big board out of the way, and we'll get going on some of the movements. Okay, so the first one that we're going to do, obviously is the run because that was first on our board. What I want you guys to see, moving your feet as fast as possible but pumping your arms in order to generate speed. I set up some cones just to go a certain distance. I use 25 feet. The next one is the skip. In skipping, the most important thing is step, hop, step, hop. So I'm gonna take one foot, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna step, and then I'm gonna hop. And then I'm gonna switch feet to the other one. So let me slow it down. I'm gonna take a step, then I'm gonna hop, and then I'm gonna switch feet to the other one. Step hop, step hop, step hop. This is skipping. Step hop, step hop, step hop, step hop, step hop. So that's a skip. You can do it as high as you want it, or you can do it as low as you want to, or you can do it as fast or as slow. Basketball players and football players, when they warm up, they do real high knees when they skip. This is a warm-up exercise for a lot of professional athletes. They skip and take their knee way high, like this, it's called high knees. So it's a good warm-up activity. 
The next one is the shuffle or the slide. Like I said, it's sideways. You're gonna bend your knees a little bit. You're gonna put your feet like shoulder width apart. So my feet are not, are they together? No. Are they super far? No. They're about shoulders. They're about my shoulders. So you're gonna take your feet, turn sideways. You're gonna move them together and slide sideways. So this is shuffling or the slide. It's a sideways movement. You're gonna go about 25 feet and then go all the way back. Practice that a couple times. The next one is the gallop. Now galloping is tricky for some because you have to use both feet at the same time. Typically when you walk, you move one foot then the other. But in galloping, you have to use them both at the same time. And your feet have to be one foot in front of the other. So I put my heel to my toe. This is my toe right here and I put my heel to it. So they're right next to each other and then I move it together at the same time. So it's heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go all the way down 25 feet and come from heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, just like so. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, all the way down. So that is the gallop. Then I'm going to do the hopping. Now remember, I did some hopping for the basketball. We're strengthening our calf muscles. But it's also a locomotor movement. I could hop in place, but that's just a, a strengthening exercise. If I hop and move to a distance, then it's a locomotor skill. So I'm going to hop on one foot, just like so. All the way down. I'm gonna switch feet and come all the way back. So that's hopping. I use my toe. Don't touch your heel to the ground and progress, switch feet. Try that a couple times. Keep your balance. It's a really good locomotor skill. And the last one is walking backwards. Now remember, when you walk backwards, you use both sides of your brain, you use the opposite side. So we did all of those skills, all of those traveling movements, and we use the right side. But when I walk backwards, I'm using the left side of my brain. And as I did all those exercises, my heart rate went up. But now, when I walk backwards, it slows down. So walking backwards is the last one in order to slow your heart rate down. Do you ever want to just stop exercising and then just like go sit on the couch or something? No, you want to always slow your heart rate down, move a little bit, walk, slow it down, and then you can go on to the next activity or do whatever you're gonna do for the rest of the day. Okay, I have one more thing before we get to the sport. So these are all locomotor skills. Try those like five times. But now I have a challenge for you. So the challenge, the locomotor challenge this week, if you guys can see that, is I set up a box. Right? I set up a perimeter. One cone, two cones, three cones, four cones. The challenge is to try each movement in a square without stopping. Do you think you guys can do it? So I'm going to show you a quick example. You're going to try each movement in a square. So I set up a square here. I got a box just like so. Hopefully you guys can see that. And I would try, I would try to run through the box. First, I tried to run it. After I ran it, then I would try to skip it. Step hop, step hop, step hop. I would try to skip it. Then I would try the next loader, locomotor skill, which would be the shuffle, which would be the slide. I would try to shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. You could even switch directions, switch feet going one way or going the other. After that, I would try the gallop, which is heel toe, heel toe. Both feet move together. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. That's the gallop. Then I would try the hopping. Get to my point, and I'll try hopping. Maybe I'll switch feet because I'm halfway. Switch feet. Hop it all the way up. I did that one. And last but not least, I'll try to slow my heart rate down and I'll walk 
backwards. So, I did a very good job. I would have passed this skill. I would have done or completed it, the challenge, the locomotor challenge. It wasn't too hard, but I am a little out of breath. But I did it. So, I'm pretty happy with myself. I completed the locomotor skills challenge. Yes, yes, I know. Thank you, thank you. Okay, now we're going to move on to one last thing. And this is the sport of the week. So, the sport of the week is going to be, hopefully you guys can see that, is volleyball. Now, there's three skills in volleyball that we're gonna talk about. The first one is bumping. That's when you use both hands together and you bump the ball with your forearm. The next one is the set. That one is when you use your hands like a window and you set it with your fingertips. And the last one is the serve. The underhand serve is very hard. You hold it with one hand and then you punch it with the other. So I'm gonna try to show you a couple examples of those skills. I'm gonna move this here and I'll stand here. So, the first one is the, is the uh, which one, sorry, is the bump. So I'll take it and I'll bump it with my forearm off the wall, just like so. The next one is the set. I'm gonna use my fingertips and set it in the air that's how I would pass the ball to a teammate. Just your fingertips. So I set it. Do I catch the ball and throw it? No, you can't do that in volleyball. But you can set to a teammate so they can hit it over the net. And last but not least, super hard. Hold the ball with one hand about your waist. Step with one foot. Reach back and strike the ball to get it up and over a makeshift net. So I'm hitting it off the wall, coming back. Three volleyball skills, a lot of locomotor skills. This is week number 11. Hope you guys participate. Hope you guys like the video. Thanks for watching.